Number 10. Tawi Tawi The first on today's list of the biggest crocs ever is Tawi Tawi, and he was captured on September 9, 2017. This crocodile is from the Philippines, and he was captured by fishermen in the island province of Tawi Tawi, which is where the crocodile gets its name. According to locals, a fisherman first spotted the crocodile and thought it was a wooden log. The crocodile was so big that he didn't even believe it at first. However, the crocodile then moved as the fisherman approached, and an operation was then launched to capture the crocodile with the help of officials. It involved quite a few fishermen and officials to capture the giant croc, especially since it was so aggressive. The crocodile wrecked one boat, damaged several fishing nets, but was ultimately captured. Tawi Tawi was approximately 16 feet and 11 inches in length and is actually still alive today in the care of the municipal government. If you thought crocodiles only lived in Florida, you are sadly mistaken. One of the biggest crocodiles ever captured was this one, and it came from the Philippines. Number 9. Matara Crocodile The Matara Crocodile is yet another massive crocodile named after the place it was discovered. This foreign crocodilian was discovered back in 2016 in Matara, Sri Lanka. For those who don't know, Sri Lanka is a small island nation south of India, and yes, they have a thriving crocodile population. Reportedly, this crocodile was stuck in a canal coming off the Nilawala River when it was discovered. But, unlike in other countries where the crocodile would have been captured, skinned and eaten, the local Sri Lankans actually helped get the massive reptile unstuck and back into the river. Of course, they had to tie its snout and work together to move the enormous beast, especially since it was 17 feet long and weighed roughly 2,000 pounds. The Department of Wildlife Conservation believes the huge crocodile was about 65 years old. That would make it one of three giant crocodiles living in that particular river in Sri Lanka. According to the BBC, it was released back into the river without any harm and is likely still prowling the waters today. Crocodiles can live for up to 100 years and they continuously grow until they become massive beasts like this. Number 8. Jaws 3 the name of this crocodile is a little misleading. You would think with a name like Jaws 3 that the animal would be a shark, but no. Jaws 3 is actually a saltwater crocodile and one of the biggest in the world. Jaws 3 is about 17 feet long and weighs over one ton. He currently has the title of being the biggest crocodile in captivity in South of Asia. His home is at the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust and Center for Hepatology in the southern city of Chennai in the state of Tamil Nadu, India. And although the center has an enormously long name, it is really just a reptile zoo and a herpetology research station. The station began in 1976, thanks to herpetologist Romulus Whitaker and his wife. What's interesting about Jaws 3 is that he was born in 1970, six years before the zoo was even functional. The owner of the zoo used to carry this crocodile under his arm when the croc was just a baby and now he's 17 feet of pure muscle and teeth. He also used to have siblings, but Jaws 3 quickly outgrew them and needed to be housed by himself because he had an unusually savage disposition and raw strength that was dangerous to the female crocs. He completely lives alone in an enclosure where citizens can watch him be fed every Sunday afternoon. And now for number seven. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 7. Gomek Gomek is an enormous saltwater crocodile who was captured by a man named George Craig in Papua New Guinea and then purchased by two other men in 1985 and taken to Florida where the giant crocodile was eventually sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park. Gomek lived in this zoological park in Florida for a full eight years wowing spectators with his odd tolerance for people and his enormous size. The crocodile grew to be 17.8 feet in length and weighed around 2,000 pounds. The croc was so calm and unafraid of people that visitors were allowed inside his enclosure up to within three feet of him. As you may know, this is normally a suicidal distance to be from any crocodile, never mind a croc that is almost 18 feet long. Sadly, Gomek died on March 6, 1997 because of heart disease. He had grown very old by then and had been one of the largest and tamest crocodiles in history. The St. Augustine Alligator Farm 
estimated his age at the time of death to be somewhere between 60 and 80 years old, which is not half bad for a scaly lizard. You can now find a tribute to the departed Gomek very near to his old enclosure. Number 6. Cassius Cassius is a saltwater giant from Australia who was recognized in 2011 by the Guinness World Records as the largest crocodile in captivity. This is no easy accomplishment. Cassius is 17 feet and 11 inches long and is believed to be about 110 years old. An average crocodile only has a life expectancy of about 100 years, so this is extremely impressive. Interestingly enough, the crocodile was actually named after Cassius Clay, which was the birth name of the famous boxer Muhammad Ali, who died in June of 2016. Cassius is still alive today, the croc, not the boxer, and he lives a pretty relaxing life on Green Island in Australia, which actually sounds like the perfect place for a giant crocodile to live. Cassius was originally captured in 1987 in the Northern Territory of Australia after he had been causing a nuisance by attacking boats and causing general mayhem. Cassius is such a brutal crocodile that he is missing his front left leg and the tip of his tail because of aggressive fighting. Oh yeah, and remember George Craig, the man who captured the previous crocodile Gomak back in 1985 in Papua New Guinea? Well, he is the same man who captured Cassius back in 1987. Now that's one busy crocodile hunter. Number 5. Yai Thailand is home to some of the most fascinating traditions on the planet, some of the friendliest people in the world, and some of the best food. Thailand is also home to Yai, one of the biggest crocodiles ever discovered. It is a close call between Yai and Cassius, the previous crocodile, but Yai is definitely bigger. He is 18 feet long and absolutely monstrous. Not monstrous as in he has a bad temper because he doesn't, but monstrously huge. Yai is actually oddly docile and has an extreme tolerance for humans. He's able to be touched and handled by strangers, and even the caretakers can feed Yai by hand without any fear. This is perhaps one of the laziest crocodiles in the world, or simply one of the least aggressive. He's currently living in the Sumat Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo in Thailand. So the next time you go for some traditional pad thai and temples, you can stop by the crocodile farm and see one of the biggest beasts on the planet. Number 4. Brutus As we get closer to the biggest crocodile ever recorded in history, the names start getting a little more interesting. Now we have Brutus, who is a massive saltwater crocodile, 18 feet and 4 inches long. Brutus is not in captivity but remains an exciting tourist attraction nonetheless on the Adelaide River in the Northern Territory of Australia. You can take a boat trip to say hi to Brutus and to pay respects to this monster of the river. Brutus is easily recognizable because he only has three limbs. It is a very strange sight to see Brutus leaping up out of the water to snatch some meat off the tour guide's meat pole and noticing the croc only has three legs. It is believed that Brutus lost his front leg after a confrontation with a bull shark near the edge of where the river meets the sea. Considering this crocodile is almost 18.5 feet long and well over 1,500 pounds, it really makes you wonder how large the shark could have possibly been to threaten such a great and fear-inspiring river crocodile. And it begs another question. What happened to the shark after the fight? Number 3. Lolong Lolong is officially the largest crocodile ever measured from snout to tail. This crocodile is an absolute beast. He measured 20 feet 3 inches and weighed approximately 2,370 pounds. He was a saltwater crocodile caught in a creek in the province of Ogasan del Sur in the Philippines back in September of 2011. After his capture, which was successful thanks to cooperation between the local Philippine government, Local residents and some professional crocodile hunters, Lolong was sedated and measured by an Australian crocodile expert and confirmed as the world's longest crocodile ever captured and then put into captivity. It actually took them three weeks to hunt Lolong down and capture him, and it took at least 100 people just to get the crocodile on land. He was incredibly aggressive during the capture, breaking at least two restraints before eventually being secured. At the time, he was estimated to be roughly 50 years old, and while never proven, Lolong was suspected of eating a fisherman and a 12-year-old girl. After he was captured and they examined his stomach, 
there were remains of water buffaloes found, but no human remains. 18 months after Lo Long was captured, he died from congestive heart failure, made worse by fungal pneumonia, kidney failure, and lipidosis of the liver. He died on the 10th of February, 2013. Number 2. Cambodian Crocodile There was once a crocodile even bigger than Lo Long, but this crocodile was never properly measured. It's referred to as the Cambodian Crocodile, and its skull is currently sitting in the Paris Museum. It was originally assumed to be about 23 feet in length, which would make it 3 feet longer than Lo Long, but again, it was never properly measured. The evidence of this giant crocodile size comes from the length of its skull. Lo Long's skull measured 70 centimeters long, but the crocodile skull in the Paris Museum measures 76 centimeters long. By doing a bunch of math and looking at the ratios, experts believe the total length of the Cambodian crocodile would be about 11.3% longer than Lo Long, making it 23 feet. And this isn't the only unverified crocodile monster. There are crocodiles from India claimed to be 23 feet long as well. And who knows what other beastly reptiles are hiding out there that we have yet to find. Number 1. Crease This is more of a legend than reality. It happened back in 1958, and the only proof that it's real is a blurry black and white photo which clearly used forced perspective to make the crocodile appear much larger, and the claims of the people who hunted it. This crocodile's name is Crease, also known as the Savannah King, and the people who shot it claimed the crocodile was 28 feet and 4 inches long. The crocodile was shot in July of 1958 in Queensland, Australia, near the town of Normington. To this day, you can find a massive replica of Crease the Crocodile sitting at Normington in Australia. However, many experts doubt the reality of this enormous monster, saying that 28 feet is far beyond the realm of possibility of what a crocodile can grow to be. In fact, according to zoologist and crocodile expert Adam Britton, it is a little too hard to believe, and there is absolutely no evidence to back up the story. The geologist even went down to Normington to measure the head of the life-size replica then claimed the head-to-body ratio was totally false. At the end of the day, whether Crease is myth or reality, it still makes for a great bit of local tourism for Norrington. Number 10. Alligator Snapping Turtle Starting off today's list is the Alligator Snapping Turtle, one of the most terrifying river monsters in the world. It may not be that large, but it's certainly terrifying. The alligator snapping turtle looks like a disgruntled dinosaur that got flattened by a truck. It has horribly sharp teeth, evil looking reptilian eyes, and a shell that's covered in hard spikes. They truly do look like something out of Jurassic Park. Alligator snapping turtles are unique in that they have eyes on the sides of their head, unlike other types of snapping turtles. Also, these are the biggest freshwater turtles in the world. While they may not be long by any stretch of the imagination, they do weigh a tremendous amount. It is claimed that one alligator snapping turtle caught in Kansas in 1937 weighed 400 pounds, though there's no sufficient evidence to confirm it. Nowadays, a male alligator snapping turtle typically weighs around 175 pounds. If you would like to find one in its natural habitat, alligator snapping turtles live exclusively in the United States of America roaming the rivers from northern Florida to the east of Texas, and even as far north as the borders of Iowa. Number 9. Goliath Tigerfish The Goliath Tigerfish is one serious monster. Not only is it a beast of a fish, it is also extremely ferocious and aggressive. They live mostly in the Congo River Basin and in a few other hot spots in African rivers and lakes. The biggest Goliath Tigerfish ever captured on record was just about an astonishing five feet long and weighed over 150 pounds. There are fighters in the UFC that weigh less than that. Plus, this fish is quick, powerful, and mean. According to Animal Planet, not even crocodiles intimidate the Goliath targetfish. In fact, the fish has been known to feast on younger and smaller crocodiles and even to have attacked humans without any fear. They have massive teeth like razors and can do some serious harm to anything they bite, which is basically whatever they want to bite. They are so quick that catching one is nearly impossible, as they can easily snap a fisherman's line. Even scarier is the fish's nearly perfect vision, even when underwater. They can spot a catfish from downriver, 
swim upon it in seconds, and literally cut it in half with one bite. And now for number eight. But first, be sure to subscribe and let me know if you've ever encountered any of these river monsters in the comments below. Number eight, red-bellied piranha. Piranhas have held the title of the most vicious river monsters for over a hundred years. Ever since Teddy Roosevelt traveled to South America and observed the pack of piranha tearing apart a cow within minutes, excited to absolute madness by the blood in the water. While that was back in 1913, things have not changed much since. Piranhas are still absolutely terrifying, even for such tiny little animals. And while the chances of you being eaten by a pack of piranha while journeying somewhere in South America is pretty low, that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. Piranhas are actually very old, with fossil evidence putting their ancestors on the continent of South America about 25 million years ago. However, the modern piranha is only about 1.8 million years old. Yeah, piranhas are definitely toothy little fish that can leave you with more than a nibble. They are known wildly for their incredibly sharp teeth and the way they bite relentlessly to cut through the flesh of their prey. In fact, the word piranha actually translates to toothfish in an ancient Brazilian language known as tupi. The adult red-bellied piranhas have interlocking teeth that line their jaw, making them especially efficient at ripping apart their prey. Number 7. Electric Eel Electric eels are the most dangerous snake-like monsters prowling through the rivers of South America. But while electric eels may look like snakes, they are actually known as knifefish which are more closely related to catfish than any other type of eel. But don't let that fool you. Electric eels are nothing like catfish. These bizarre creatures can generate an outstanding 800 volts of electricity, which is seriously bad news for anyone who were to grab a hold of one while swimming in a river. And it wouldn't be that hard either considering that an electric eel can grow to be 8 feet in length. These are huge fish with scaly skin and gross flattened heads. You definitely don't want to meet one of them in their native habitat of South America, where they reside in most countries south of Panama. The eels manage to make electricity because of three unique electric organs. That's right, they actually have organs that produce electricity. Their electric organs make up about 80% of their body, with the rest of their vital organs tightly packed inside of them. Their electric organs work by creating intense electric charges which they use for hunting and for defense. Number 6 the short-tailed river stingray. There are a lot of stingrays hanging around in oceans and in rivers. However, the short-tailed river stingray distinguishes itself because of its small tail, whereas other stingray, like the Thai giant freshwater stingray, have extremely long tails. But this stingray doesn't. Its tail is less like a tail and more like a club. These bizarre fish get by thanks to their strange habit of sticking themselves to the bottom of muddy riverbeds. This makes them almost impossible to catch. It's like trying to pull one of the world's strongest suckers off an indestructible mirror. They live mostly in the Piranha River of Argentina, where other horrible river monsters like the Golden Dorado also call home. The stingrays can weigh upwards of 280 pounds, and while they are not inherently dangerous, you definitely would not want to get in a fight with one. Stingrays are indeed carnivores, though it is doubtful one will eat you. But we all know what happened to Steve Irwin, and that is a dangerous lesson about getting too close to any stingray, never mind one that weighs almost 300 pounds. Number 5. Goonch Catfish Any fish enthusiast knows all about the old trick on how to catch a catfish in a river simply by sticking your arm into a muddy hole where the catfish lives and then yanking it out once the catfish bites your arm. However, nobody recommends you do this with a goonch catfish, which happens to be the largest catfish in the entire world. The current world record for the biggest goonch catfish is 6.6 .6 feet in length with a weight of 230 pounds. That is not an animal you want to stick your hand into, no matter how bad you're craving a fish fillet. The goonch catfish lives in both Nepal and India, and they are notoriously difficult to pull out of the river. Just imagine trying to catch a fish that weighs close to double your own weight. And while he never could prove it, Jeremy Wade from the hit show River Monsters once claimed that he saw an overweight goonch catfish while he was diving 
that could have weighed anywhere between 800 and 2,000 pounds. This all-star fisherman claims that he had hooked that exact same fish but was unable to catch it. And who can blame him? Who could possibly catch a 2,000 pound fish? Number 4. Payara The Payara is also known as the vampire fish. And while this small sized river monster is not particularly scary on the outside, go ahead and take a look at its terrifying teeth. This fish is fast and aggressive. It can swallow its prey whole, and it has some of the meanest fangs of any sea creature. For its tiny size, reaching only about 4 feet in length and only about 40 pounds, they have fangs that can be up to 6 inches long. Their bottom fangs are so long that their upper jaw has special holes that they fit into. It's like if you had two bottom teeth that were so long they had to be inserted into special passages that reached beneath your nose. It should be no surprise that these so-called vampire fish are one of the most popular aquarium pets in the world. Everyone wants to watch their vampire fish feeding with their massive teeth. However, they don't live that long in an aquarium or in captivity at all, nor do they grow particularly large. Like many fish, these ones don't like being caged. According to Animal World, their natural home is in South America, specifically in the Orinco River in Venezuela and in the Amazon River. Number 3. Lamprey Lamprey, I believe, are the most terrifying river monsters in the entire world. And I'm not the only one who believes it. These disgusting suckfish have the grossest mouth of any creature under the sea or above it. They are often referred to as lamprey eels because of their snake-like bodies. They are a parasitic fish native to the Atlantic Ocean, but they have roamed far, invading rivers and lakes wherever their disgusting little bodies can make it. A report from the National Ocean Service claims lamprey are currently wreaking havoc on the Great Lakes in North America and are being labeled as the first destructive invasive species to pose a serious threat to other Canadian wildlife. These fish are particularly dangerous because they feed on other fish, with a single lamprey killing about 40 pounds of fish per year. They especially like to kill lake and river trout using their suction cup mouth. Inside their mouth are many rings of hooked, horny teeth, which pierce flesh extremely easily. Once attached to their prey, the lamprey uses its tongue to literally scour off the flesh of the other fish so that it can suck out the blood and bodily fluids from the unsuspecting host. This is like a leech only a hundred times worse. I would not want a team of lampreys stuck anywhere on this body. Number 2. Giant Snakehead A giant snakehead is a seriously nasty fish, though you have to admit they do look pretty cool. The giant snakehead is native to the rivers and lakes in and around South and Southeast Asia, all the way from Vietnam to India, but they are incredibly invasive and a huge threat to ecosystems not their own. These crazy and terrifying river monsters can grow to be more than six feet long. They have razor sharp teeth and predatory skills that are nothing to mess with. In fact, these fish have a reputation for being malicious, killing more than it can even eat. Not only is a giant snakehead extremely dangerous, but it is killing at random. The giant snakehead is basically a serial killer fish, and it is loose in the rivers all over Asia, destroying steadily all in its path. Number 1. Arapaima This is one of the biggest river fish in the world, and it is nothing to mess with. The Arapaima is sleek, absolutely huge, and dominates the streams of the Amazon River particularly in the Amazon River Basin. This unique fish has two very strange characteristics. First of all, it can breathe air. The fish can stay submerged underwater for about 20 minutes at a time, but it can survive on land with no water for a full 24 hours. It's like it can't decide which end of the evolutionary spectrum it's on. Its second amazing ability is that its mouth works like a vacuum. It opens its massive mouth and creates such astonishing pressure that it can suck up nearby food just like a vacuum. They grow to be about 440 pounds and 10 feet long. As you can imagine, that is one big fish to find in a stream or a river. And while they don't particularly enjoy eating humans, they are powerful enough to swim straight into you with a nasty headbutt, which could leave a bruise, push the air right out of your lungs, or leave you stunned and breathless below the surface. 
Number 9. Stingray Unlike many creatures that have painful bites and stings, stingrays are quite docile in most cases. Me and my family actually got to experience this firsthand just a couple of weeks ago at a marine wildlife park. With the stingers removed, we were actually allowed to pet the stingrays, and they surprised me at how docile and actually quite affectionate they were. In fact, although they have very powerful stingers, they avoid using them unless they are provoked or threatened. Oftentimes, cases of stingray attacks occur when a human accidentally steps on the creature, causing it to react instinctively by lashing out. Accidental or not, if you're unlucky enough to be stung by a stingray, you'll have a possible medical emergency on your hands. The stinger can break off within your body, causing immense pain and exposing you to various bacteria and other fungal infections. Additionally, many stingray species are venomous, causing side effects such as muscle spasms, swollen limbs, extreme pain, and perhaps worse. Stingray bites are not lethal in a vast majority of cases, but it's still important to be cautious in the environment where one may be nearby. One of the most famous deaths caused by Stingray was that of the legendary crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, who was filming a show called Ocean's Deadliest and was fatally struck in the heart while observing a Stingray. Steve was a big influence on me love for nature, and I think about him a lot while we're exploring these awesome creatures. Does anybody else still think about Steve? Were you a fan? Let me know in the comments below if he influenced you and your love for nature too. Number 8. Platypus Without a doubt, the platypus is one of the oddest creatures on the planet, mainly because of its eccentric appearance. In fact, many people thought its existence was a hoax when it was first discovered, but the platypus was eventually accepted at large as a genuine species. Their anatomy gets even more bizarre beyond their initial appearances. Male platypuses have a spur that protrudes from the back of their hind limbs. These spurs look harmful to begin with, and to make matters worse, they are packed with venom. Luckily, the venom is only produced during the breeding season. It's hypothesized that the venom is made both to attract mates and to fight off other platypuses that might have their eyes on the prize. The venom of the platypus is said to be incredibly painful and is powerful enough to incapacitate a human if a big enough dose is administered. However, while its dose can be lethal to some animals, this venom is not fatal to humans. The platypus is one of the few mammals in the entire world that can produce venom within their body. Man, and they're so cute too, but I'm not cuddling with one. And now for number 7, but first, be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you're new here, and let me know if you've ever been stung in the comments below. Number 7, Arizona Bark Scorpion. Oh, I love scorpions. Native to the Sonora Desert, the Arizona Bark Scorpion is the most venomous scorpion in North America. Homeowners in the Phoenix area are especially at risk into coming into contact with one. While this species avoids humans and is typically non-aggressive, it will reflexively sting when it feels threatened, which could result in an accidental contact with a person, including someone unknowingly brushing up against, stepping on, or otherwise touching one. Its sting is not only excruciatingly painful, it's also long-lasting. Most animal stings are felt for a short time or until treatment is received but the symptoms of an Arizona bark scorpion sting can last for up to 72 hours. That's three days of pain. During that time, the victim experiences symptoms such as numbness, tingling, vomiting, and massive pain. Some even say that the pain and tingling mix to create something that feels like an electric jolt coursing through one's body. Other symptoms include shortness of breath and muscle convulsions. On the bright side, most Arizona bark scorpion stings are non-lethal to humans. Young children, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems are at higher risk for suffering fatal side effects from a sting, although death is still unlikely in these cases. Since records first started being kept in the 1960s, only two known deaths have occurred due to a bark scorpion sting. Adult scorpion stings are less likely to be fatal because they know exactly how much venom to use to disable but not kill their prey. Bites from younger bark scorpions, on the other hand, are more dangerous because they tend to contain more venom. Thankfully, there's an anti-venom available, which provides much needed relief from this painful sting. Number 6. Gila Monster 
When it comes to its venom and how it's administered, the Gila monster is a force to be reckoned with. This lizard dwells in the American Southwest and is closely related to the Mexican beaded lizard. The Gila monster is naturally shy and is unlikely to attack a human unless threatened. It's even known to let out a hiss as one final warning sign for someone to get away or get bitten. This lizard is known for clamping its jaws down on its victims and refusing to let go. When the Gila monster's lower jaw secure a firm hold on the victim, the bite can last for up to 15 minutes. This type of bite is known for being far more excruciatingly painful than venomous snake bites. Initial bite symptoms are typically limited to local pain. However, the side effects worsen, growing to include nausea, vomiting, high blood pressure, localized swelling, weakness, excessive sweating, fever, and chills. In more extreme reactions, breathing difficulties can occur. Man, as terrifying as these symptoms are, a Gila monster bite is rarely fatal. It's recommended for those who have been bitten to try prying the lizard's mouth open with a stick to free themselves from the animal's grasp. Of course, one should also immediately seek medical care. Number 5. Armed Spider Found mostly in South America and Central America, the armed spider, also known as the Brazilian wandering spider and the banana spider, is a highly aggressive species that doesn't like humans. In fact, it's one of the few spider species that can not only cause great pain to humans with its venom, but can potentially kill them. Armed spiders don't act like most spiders, who hide out during the day and become active at night. In other words, they'll attack you when you least expect it. Like most creatures on today's list, however, the armed spider will probably only bite a human if they feel provoked. The armed spider's venom causes terrifying symptoms, including extreme pain, vomiting, and irregular heart rate, just to name a few. As I stated before, its venom can also cause death in humans, particularly children. A life-saving anti-venom does exist if the victim can access it on time. Despite its dangerous and deadly effects, scientists are currently evaluating the proteins in the venom for potential medicinal use. Who knows? Maybe the next vaccine will be full of armed spider venom. Number 4. Tarantula Hawk The tarantula hawk is an insect that eats tarantulas. In total, there are 133 species inhabiting South and Central America, as well as the Southern United States. This shockingly huge insect reaches 4.3 inches in length. It possesses extremely potent venom that subdues its prey with little effort and is known for having the most painful wasp sting in the world. The tarantula hawk will attack other species if provoked. Its venom is one of the most painful in existence, as evidenced by its ranking on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. It's a scientific index that measures the pain of a sting. According to the list, tarantula hawk's venom is ranked number two, second only to the South American bullet ant. Justin Schmidt, an American entomologist and the creator of the index, described the tarantula hawk's sting as instantaneously electrifying and totally debilitating. <sighs> he advises victims to simply lay down and scream once they realize they've been bitten. That's the advice from an expert, people. My advice? Stay away from tarantula hawks. Number 3. Rattlesnake The rattlesnake is a trademark in classic western movies and is found in many deserts in the United States. The iconic sound of the rattlesnake's tail is known around the world, but just as known is how frequent the rattlesnake finds victims to bite. Every single year, around 7 to 8,000 people are bitten by rattlesnakes. And that's just the ones who actually go to the hospital. There are likely even more bite victims from this snake every year. Due to their popularity prompting subsequent research, treatments for rattlesnake bites are available. And barring any unexpected serious complications, a human rarely, if ever, dies from one. But the pain and agony are very real. And a bite can have some very serious effects on the body. First and foremost, the pain of the snake bite will actually grow as it circulates throughout the victim's body. Secondly, it'll affect the tissue and muscles and can even affect the circulatory system, so much so that if a victim doesn't get treated, they risk suffering from failure. 
heart failure. Number two, black widow spider. One of the most infamous spiders in the world. The black widow spider is known for its iconic look and its inspiration for a very popular Marvel Comics character. However, their legend has actually resulted in a story that isn't true. Contrary to popular belief, most black widow bites won't kill, especially now that anti-venom is available in most countries. People often mistakenly think that just being around a black widow spider is cause enough for it to bite you, but that's simply not the case. They actually won't bite unless directly provoked. But don't let that fool you. Just because they don't bite often or fatally doesn't mean their venom is something to laugh off. It's one of the most dangerous venoms in the world. If you're bitten, your life is on hold until you either wait it out or get treatment. Some of the things you'll experience while under the venom's power are cramping, irregular heartbeat, sweating, extreme muscular pain, tremors, and delirium. And here's the kicker. The anti-venom actually isn't an option unless the symptoms become very violent. Oftentimes, you'll be given painkillers and told to wait out the first few hours, which is typically the worst part of the ordeal. The other reason this venom is so legendary is that its symptoms can last for days or even weeks. And until it's out of your system, you won't be having a normal day again. <sighs> Number 1. Box Jellyfish Generally speaking, you should stay away from all jellyfish because of their stings. Not all jellyfish are poisonous, but their stings are often very painful. Poisonous or not, however, no jellyfish sting equals the pain given by the box jellyfish. The box jellyfish is small and transparent, so it's incredibly tough to see them, let alone get away from them. Children are the most at risk of suffering the worst effects of the sting. One victim described the sting as being unbearably painful as their heart struggled to keep up with the rest of their body. What they were probably experiencing is one of the various potentially fatal symptoms of a sting, the collapse of the cardiovascular system. The box jellyfish has, without a doubt, the most potent venom in the world today. Aside from the pain, the power of the venom of the box jellyfish is capable of killing a human within five minutes if not treated properly. One reason the box jellyfish sting is so deadly is because of limited access to medical facilities. While people often treat these stings with vinegar and other home remedies, these solutions are not scientifically proven to be effective, so, um, you know, don't try that thing, you know, we've heard of. The best thing to do, if possible, is summon emergency responders as quickly as possible. Anthony here. From sea animals acting extremely inappropriately to some clever critters hitching a ride, here are some really strange and weird animals that do strange things. Number 10. Dolphins Starting the list today is an animal we all know and love. I am of course talking about dolphins. Dolphins are widely recognized as some of the smartest animals in the world. They are extremely playful and they are extraordinarily curious. Dolphins are notorious for playing alongside cruise ships as they sail across the ocean. They are easy to train and love to do tricks. They recognize each other and have different names, and they even use drugs recreationally. This may be shocking to hear, but dolphins absolutely love getting high on fish toxins. You see, puffer fish have strong toxins inside of them, and somehow dolphins have figured it out. They have also figured out how to pass the puffer fish between each other to get small doses of its toxin, acting like teenagers passing the green back and forth. This actually acts like a narcotic, getting the dolphins high. The act was filmed by the BBC not too long ago. According to an expert zoologist, young dolphins like to purposely experiment with new things and apparently things that alter their brains. This is an incredibly weird thing for an animal to do, and especially for a dolphin. Whoever would have thought dolphins would recreationally get high? It is truly baffling. Number 9. Seals and Penguins This is a raunchy one, and is definitely not something for the faint of heart. Most people know by now that intercourse in the animal kingdom is not very romantic. It is often brutal, deadly, and altogether ugly. But a recent discovery in 2006 by researchers observing life on Marion Island in Antarctica 
goes beyond all previous notions of weird. While the researchers first thought it was an accident, according to the BBC, they soon realized it was actually repetitive. What they happened to witness, over and over again, were fur seals attempting to mate with king penguins. That's right, interspecies mating between a seal and a penguin, and it was not only noticed by one team of researchers. Even more recently than 2006, experts from the Mammal Research Institute at the University of Pretoria in South Africa spotted it again. The fur seal seemed to have some kind of disturbing crush on the king penguins, and while the mating basically never works because they aren't the same species, it usually ends with the seal getting angry and eating the penguin it was just trying to put a baby into. While scientists are definitely baffled by this strange behavior, it is not something totally new. There have been examples of cross-species mating before, which is how mules came to exist. However, it is doubtful that we will see a seal and a penguin hybrid anytime soon. Number 8. Chickens Chickens have always been weird animals. They are birds, but we really don't think of them as birds. We really only think of them as chicken nuggets and chicken wings. However, chickens are actually remarkable animals. They have some very strange behaviors also, which are not wildly displayed throughout the animal kingdom. The thing with chickens is that they can change sex. Yes, a female chicken can turn into a male chicken in a very short period of time. It's all because chickens are born with two sex organs. According to live science, female chickens have one hormone that develops into an ovary and another that stays dormant. However, when something strange happens like a hormonal imbalance, the female chicken's dormant organ will grow and proceed to release male hormones into its body. The direct result is the female chicken will turn into a man chicken. The chicken will stop laying eggs. It will grow a waddle in a comb and it will begin to act just like a male chicken. She will even strut and crow, just like a boy chicken. The only difference is that she won't mate with females because she stays genetically female. This is one of the weirdest behaviors in any animal, especially in a bird. Do any of you have chickens? Ever observe them doing anything odd? Let us all know in the comments below. But first, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a future vid. Number 7. Elephants We are all fairly familiar with elephants and their remarkable behavior. Elephants are cute, the babies are cuddly, and they seem to have a fun time while hanging around the watering hole. Elephants are also notorious for their cooperation skills, their family values, and how well they protect each other from danger. However, in 2013, researchers discovered something very disturbing in one particular high-ranking female elephant. Rather than protecting the other elephant and being the symbol of wisdom and guardianship we have come to recognize them as, the elephant was bullying the others. The researchers observed this nasty elephant preventing other female elephants and their babies from getting to the watering hole. She appeared to choose her victims at random and went so far as to bully them by slapping them around, shoving their babies with her trunk, and being generally rude. The behavior had such a devastating effect on the victims that they grew visibly weaker day after day. Why elephants like this behave so poorly, scientists are not quite sure. It could be to protect their watering hole or it could be just a bad-tempered elephant. Number 6. Scorpions This is a very strange characteristic that scientists still can't fully explain. The behavior is so weird and it makes so little sense that researchers are truly baffled. You see, when scorpions are exposed to any type of ultraviolet light or the very powerful light of the moon, they glow in the dark. I'm talking about fluorescent glowing as if they were stars on your bedroom ceiling. This is dangerous for the scorpions because they hunt mostly at night, and when they glow, they are terribly visible to owls and other nocturnal hunters who could easily pick them out and eat them. Researchers believe it could have something to do with the eyes of the scorpion, which are suited to seeing blue-green light. But it could also be because they evolved to glow in the dark as a way to see one another. It could also be because of them trying to lure prey towards them, using bioluminescence like some creatures from the deep. While the glowing doesn't seem to have diminished their numbers at all, it is still a very unusual thing to do. Number 5. Jeanettes This is a truly bizarre sight to behold. The Jeanette is a very small animal, 
kind of like a cat who lives in North Africa. Traditionally very solitary animals, they have recently been spotted hitching a ride on the back of rhinoceroses and buffaloes. The nighttime photos of these tiny little cat-like animals riding around on the backs of rhinos is really something to behold. It's like a taxi service for them, and it definitely keeps them safer than running around on their own. However, scientists literally have no idea what's going on. So far as they can tell, these animals don't seem to care which rhino they ride on or which buffalo, so long as they can get a ride somewhere. But even stranger is that they do not appear to be riding anywhere in particular. They are just riding around on giant herbivores for no apparent reason. Could they be bored? Could they just be feeling lazy? It's really anyone's guess. Of course, birds are often seen landing on rhinoceroses, but it's usually to try and pick the bugs off the rhino's skin. The Jeanette does not appear to be doing anything except hitching a free ride like a loafer. Number 4. Goats A few years ago, there was an internet sensation when videos of fainting goats began storming the web. This is one of the strangest animal traits and also one of the funniest. Basically, whenever goats become afraid and nervous, or if they are shocked beyond reprieve, their legs go stiff and they fall over, appearing to be scared stiff as they faint. Of course, the goats are not actually fainting. They have a strange medical condition known as Thompson's disease, and it causes the goat's muscles to tense way too hard when the animal gets startled. Think of it like when you get scared and your muscles immediately tense. Like when somebody surprises you from behind the corner. The only difference is the goat's body doesn't relax right away. It gets stuck stiff and falls over. The good news is there is no pain or major discomfort. The goats very quickly get over it. And in fact, the older the goat gets, the more they avoid falling down when they are surprised. As they get old, they learn to run on stiff legs rather than topple over. Number 3. Horned Lizards The horned lizard has one of the most disturbing defense tactics in the animal kingdom. These are some seriously strange reptiles. If you didn't already know, horned lizards are desert dwellers. They live in the rocks and generally rely on camouflage not to be eaten by big mean predators. However, if a predator does come too close to them, such as a coyote, rather than run away, the lizard will stand its ground. They don't like to run until they have properly assessed the situation. But once the coyote gets close enough to bite, the lizard squirts a stream of truly disgusting blood straight into the coyote's mouth, and it does this straight from its eyes. The horned lizard literally shoots blood from its eyes into a predator's mouth, then runs away to hide under some nearby rocks. It doesn't feel like the most appealing defense mechanism to me, but then again, Lizards have been around for a lot longer than us, and it seems to have served it pretty well so far. Number 2. Octopus You've probably heard of an octopus garden, but only in the context of the famous song by the Beatles. However, it is a little more factual than you probably believed. You see, some octopuses really do make gardens. To understand this, remember that octopuses live in little cracks and crevices in the rocks, just like cave-dwelling goblins. And in front of their little caves, many octopuses like to keep a garden. But it's not a garden of grass or flowers. It's a garden of rocks, shattered shells, broken glass, discarded trash, and even bottle caps. But don't get too excited. They keep this type of garden simply to protect the entrance of their den, not for aesthetics. Number 1. Sloths Last on the list is the sloth, everyone's favorite lazy animal. There's not really anything special about the sloth. They just hang out in the trees. They don't move very quickly, and they don't even look smart. They spend most of all their life in the treetops sleeping and eating, but once a week, they make a very strange journey to the ground. This is because they only poop on the ground. Sloths definitely have the strangest toilet ritual out of any other animal. They make their way painstakingly down from the tree, sit on the ground, and poop then head back up into the trees. This is extremely weird because most tree-dwelling animals simply let their poop fall wherever they happen to be at the time of necessity. Not only does it take forever for the sloth to get down the tree, robbing the lazy animal of its much-needed energy, but it is also extremely dangerous. Their weekly journey to the bottom of the tree is the one time when predators on the ground are able to reach them. So why would you go through all that trouble? 
The theory is that it has to do with the bugs living in the fur on the sloths. They have pretty disgusting fur to tell you the truth, full of sloth moths. Researchers believe that the sloths poop on the ground so that the moths that live in their fur can lay their eggs inside the poop, and then, once the bugs hatch, they go back up the tree where the sloth is living, to live back inside the fur. The only problem with this theory is that scientists have no idea what good it's doing for the sloths. Which animal behavior do you think is the strangest? Number 10. Javan rhinoceros Rhinos are one of the world's more well-known endangered species, with the most at-risk species out of the five that exist being the lesser-known Javan rhinoceros. The Javan rhino was once prevalent across parts of Southeast Asia, but with Vietnam's last Javan rhino being poached in 2010, the only known remaining ones all live in, and I hope I get this right, Ujong Kulong National Park in Java, Indonesia. They are very similar in appearance to the closely related Greater One-Horned Rhino and are a dusky gray color with one horn that grows up to 10 inches long. The loose folds over their skin make them look like they have armor plating and they are thought to live for somewhere between 30 and 40 years. With only about 60 Javan rhinos left in the world and none in captivity, their future survival depends on park rangers' ability to protect them from the ever-present threat of poachers who hunt them for their valuable horns, which are a lucrative commodity in traditional medicine for their supposed medicinal properties. Number 9. Ocean Quahog The ocean quahog is a type of large aquatic mollusk called a bivalve that grows up to 4 inches tall. Large populations can be found in the waters around Iceland but ocean quahogs live buried beneath the seabed all across the Atlantic Ocean. They're one of the longest known living creatures on our planet, with one specimen caught in 2006, nicknamed Ming the Clam, estimated to be around 507 years old. Despite their longevity, ocean quahogs numbers are declining. While this is the case for concern, the situation has not grown dire just yet. Ocean quahogs cannot tolerate extensive fishing due to their low reproduction levels, but overfishing is not currently a problem. According to the NOAA Fisheries website, monitoring their numbers as well as fishing levels are imperative for ensuring the ocean quahog's survival, especially since its population is decreasing. Number 8. Vequita The Vequita, a small porpoise species, was discovered in 1958. It's the world's rarest marine mammal and is teetering dangerously close on the brink of extinction, with just an estimated handful left. Vequitas are endemic to the Gulf of California off the Mexican coast, where large numbers once gathered, but the population has severely fallen to the point where seeing one now is almost unheard of. A 1997 study estimated the surviving population at around 600. The number dropped to 100 in a similar survey in 2014, and today, there are between 6 and 22 vequitas left. Scientists are doing everything in their power to try and save the vequita, but with so few specimens left, the deck is stacked disappointingly against them. The vequita's nearly depleted status results mainly from ending up as a bycatch in fishing nets, particularly those intended to catch a rare fish called a totuaba. This specific type of fishing has caused greater destruction to the Vequita's numbers than any other factor threatening the species. Despite the Mexican government's attempts to limit the Totuaba fishing for this reason, even banning the use of gill nets in 2015 for two years and setting up wildlife refuges, unfortunately, the porpoise has not yet started showing signs of recovery and is still in ever-present danger due to the illegal fishing industry, which the law has failed to stop. Number 7. Iberian Lynx Native to the Iberian Peninsula of Southwest Europe, the Iberian Lynx is the most endangered of all feline species. These cats once roamed the Mediterranean forests of Spain and Portugal, but thanks to poaching, habitat destruction, and reductions in the population of rabbits that serve as their main food source, these majestic creatures have fallen sharply in number. They are easily recognizable in the area if you are lucky enough to see one, 
as they are heavily spotted with long legs and a short tail with a black tip. Iberian lynxes have a tawny coat and a beard around their faces, as well as black tufts on their ears. In 2002, it was estimated that there were 100 Iberian lynxes left in the wild at most, and conservationists took drastic action to try sparing them from extinction. In an unexpectedly fortunate turn for the species, those efforts have proven worthwhile. The cats are bred in captivity and released in the wild, with the recent population counts indicating that there are now over 300 throughout their range. Despite these successes, the Iberian lynx remains at the precipice of extinction, and conservation efforts must continue if they are to survive the next decade. Number 6. Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat Wombats are the largest known burrowing herbivorous mammals, and all three species are facing survival challenges as a result of human activity. The most at-risk species is the northern hairy-nosed wombat, one of the world's rarest mammals. Much larger than you would probably expect, unless you're already familiar with them, wombats have a stocky build, short tail, and powerful legs with strong claws that are ideal for digging. With a large head and pointy eyes, the hairy-nosed wombat gets its name from the clumps of whiskers that protrude from the sides of its nostrils. This unusual creature was once found across a wide range of Australia as recently as 100 years ago, from New South Wales to Queensland. Today, though, their numbers are severely declining and are limited to a small part of the Epping Forest National Park in Queensland, where approximately 230 specimens are believed to live. There are numerous reasons why the northern hairy-nosed wombat is struggling to survive, including its already small population numbers to begin with, the risk of flooding, droughts and wildfire which have become more frequent in recent years, reduced habitat resulting from deforestation, and the competition for food with the eastern grey kangaroo. There are so many amazing animals that have gone extinct or are on the edge of extinction. If you could bring back just one species of these animals, which would it be? Let me know down in the comments below. Number 5. Dama Gazelle The Dama Gazelle is the largest of all gazelle species, and once it existed in vast numbers across the arid and semi-arid regions of the Sahara, mainly in Chad and Sudan. They are about 3 feet tall at their shoulders, and have a reddish-brown body and a white head, rump, and underside. Both males and females have curved horns. In the past century, the Dama gazelle's population numbers have deteriorated as a result of numerous wars in the region, an enlarging desert, overhunting, the destruction of their habitats, and increased human activity in livestock production. Consequently, the once common sight of gazelles in the area is now a rarity. Very little is known about the life cycles of these creatures in the wild, which complicates conservation efforts. Most of what we know of them comes from observing captive specimens which, if the current decline continues, will sadly be the only place where future generations can witness these animals firsthand. Number 4. Chinese Alligator Also called the Yangshi Alligator, the Chinese Alligator is one of the only two known alligator species in the world. It's a lot smaller than its counterpart, the American Alligator, with a more robust head and a snout that tapers up and turns up at the end. The Chinese alligator's blunt teeth are ideal for crushing the shelled animals it feeds on, like clams and snails. An adult can grow up to six and a half feet long, but unlike American alligators, they never attack humans. Books dating back to over 2,000 years ago refer to these creatures as harmless. Chinese alligators are thought to have once been prevalent along the entire Yangshi River and is the possible inspiration for the Chinese dragon, as the Chinese call them Yao Lung, which means dragon. Unlike the American alligator, this species is majorly threatened with extinction, mainly due to habitat loss. What were once swamplands and marshes are now paddy fields, and a large number of Chinese alligators have been killed by farmers protecting their livestock as well as the seepage of agricultural chemicals into their nearby water sources. There are now only thought to be around 130 remaining specimens in the wild, all of which are contained to small areas around the low bend of the Yangshi River. 
Attempts are underway to preserve the species, but as long as humans continue altering and stealing their environment, the recovery will be slow and difficult at best. Number 3. The Pied Tamarind The pied or bare-faced tamarind is native to the Amazon basin and inhabits rainforests, swampy regions, and even urban environments. They are identifiable by their black thick fur, which is white on their upper body and forelimbs, and brown on their lower half and rear limbs, as well as the complete lack of fur on their black heads. Pied tamarinds are also different from other New World monkeys due to their small size and modified claws. They were once found all over the region, but are now limited to small areas of degraded forests and housing estates near the Brazilian cities of Manaus. Designated as critically endangered, they are threatened by deforestation, urban growth, increased cattle ranching, and competition against the larger golden-haired tamarind for habitat. Number 2. The Seaula With a name meaning spindle horns in Vietnamese, the Seaula is often affectionately called the Asian unicorn due to its unique appearance and rarity. Seaulas were first identified in Vietnam in 1992 when a skull with unusually straight horns was seen in the home of a hunter leading to the first discovery of a new mammal in over 50 years. Since then, scientists have documented Seaula in the wild just four times, and they know little about the obscure creature. Seaula are one of the world's most endangered large animal species, being found only in the Annamite Mountains in Laos and Vietnam. Their striking features, including long, virtually straight horns and distinct white head markings, have made them a prized trophy for hunters. This is the largest contributor to their critically endangered status and as a result of commercial poaching rather than subsistence hunting by local communities. If the Sayala continues falling victim to hunters, the outlook for its future is bound to become more grim. Inadequate conservation efforts until recent times, along with the natural effects of being a small population, have also impacted the Sayala's dwindling population. Number one the pangolin. Pangolins are the world's only mammal that are covered in scales and their tongues can be longer than their bodies. There are eight distinct species across Asia and Africa and sadly every single one is at imminent risk of extinction due to the creature's status as the world's most heavily trafficked animal. Experts admittedly know little about pangolins whose lifespans are thought to last around 20 years. When in danger, they curl up into balls that make it difficult for even lions and tigers to pierce through, thanks to the pangolin's tough scales which act as a protective shell. They also emit a noxious smelling acid, similar to skunks to deter predators. Humans are the biggest threat to pangolins, however, who are captured and sold to the Chinese and Vietnamese wildlife trades for their valuable meat and scales. Some estimates suggest as many as 200,000 pangolins are traded each year causing their numbers to rapidly drop, almost to the point of wiping them from existence. Efforts are underway to preserve pangolins, but unless humans change their ways, this truly unique mammal's time on Earth will soon be up. To learn more about what you can do to help, check out endangered.org. You can make the difference. Number 10. Daddy Long Legs if you live in North America, you are undoubtedly familiar with the Daddy Long Leg Spider. This is probably the most harmless spider around, although they are absolutely terrifying with their long legs and gangly bodies. And while I call this a spider, it is actually closer to a scorpion. The Daddy Long Legs does not produce silk. It has only one pair of eyes rather than eight, and it is only known as Daddy Long Legs, as it has no other name to go by. This is obviously not the scariest creature on earth, but there's an immediate fright when you find a daddy long legs crawling up your leg or way too close to you on the wall. The good news is, these arachnids are not venomous at all. In fact, they are oddly social, having been discovered to often hang out in big groups with other daddy long legs. They are also extremely old. This species of arachnid has been discovered in fossils that are dated to be over 400 million years old. And while the Daddy Long Legs has a surprisingly long lifespan of about two years, they usually get stepped on first. 
Next time you see one of these crawling along, don't fret. It can't hurt you. Number 9. Giant African Millipede Let me introduce you to one of the largest millipedes in the entire world. The giant African millipede grows to about 15 inches long and 3 inches thick, and it actually looks more like a snake than an insect. Anyone who has spent any time in the jungle is well aware of how dangerous centipedes and other creepy crawlies can be, as there are even species of caterpillar that can deliver massive loads of toxins to a human. And so it is natural to be terrified of a giant millipede, especially if you found it crawling over your shoe or running up your leg. But these are actually harmless animals. Although some may secrete a toxic substance if they feel threatened, it hasn't been proven that this substance has serious reaction to humans. It can only cause a small allergy to some unfortunate ones. Unlike centipedes, they can't bite or sting and when they feel in danger, they are likely to curl up as to not become anyone's food. Centipedes, on the other, will take a huge bite and leave you writhing so you know, so stay away from those. Have you ever come across a huge insect like this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Vultures Vultures are not necessarily scary creatures, but they are definitely imposing and more than a little threatening. There is nothing more ominous than seeing circling vultures overhead when out in the desert. These birds have enormously sharp claws that can carve meat from bone and beaks that can easily rip bone apart. If a vulture wanted, it could certainly swoop out of the sky and do some serious damage to you. Luckily, these winged scavengers are completely harmless. The thing is, vultures are scavengers and they only eat dead animals. While they have been known to attack live prey in dire situations, it is extremely rare. Vultures prefer waiting for someone else to kill an animal so they can swoop in and steal the scraps. Vultures don't even bother trying to kill small desert critters and they have absolutely no desire of fighting a grown human. However, if you were to fall victim to heat sickness while in the desert and pass out, you bet the vultures would be coming down to give you a taste. Number 7. Bears Bears may look tough on the outside, and sure, they are pretty ferocious in a fight, but bears are not generally a threat to humans. They are certainly not harmless as there are many examples of bear attacks, but they don't go out of their way to harm you. In fact, According to a report by the National Park Service, your chance of being assaulted by a grizzly bear in Yellowstone National Park is 1 in 2.7 million visits, meaning you would need to visit the park probably around 3 million times before a random encounter would occur in an injury. Bears don't like people, and anyone who lives in the countryside in North America is pretty aware of this. While they will definitely protect their young, everyone knows not to go near a grizzly bear mama when she's with her cubs. The average bear is not dangerous at all. In fact, the bear is in more danger than you. Even if you had an altercation with a bear, you are very unlikely to die. The truth is that bears usually end up dying when they meet humans. In a study that looked at 600 encounters between bears and humans, the bears ended up dying approximately 34% of the time. Overall, human beings are far more harmful to bears than they are to us. And now for number 8, but first, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. Number 6. Coral Snake This is a tricky one. The coral snake does have the second most toxic venom out of any snake, with the black mamba taking rank as number one. However, the coral snake is actually pretty harmless. They are about as harmless to humans as an ordinary milk snake, which happen to look exactly the same as the coral snake other than a slight reorganization of the red, yellow, and black bands. There are a few reasons for coral snakes being harmless. First of all, their venom is super slow when it enters humans, and it can take many hours for the first symptoms to even show up. By that time, anyone with any sense has already gotten their hands on an anti-venom and is on their way to recovery. Besides that, coral snakes have really small teeth, and their teeth actually hang outside of their mouth at all times, because they have no way to retract them. Their teeth are too small to puncture boots and even have a hard time puncturing human flesh. And even when they do, they can't deliver that much toxin. When it comes down to raw numbers, coral snakes have not killed a single human since the 1960s. There have been more human deaths by vending machines than coral snakes in the last 50 odd years. Number 5. Black Widow Spider Black widows have been betrayed in the media as one of the most terrifying spiders in the world. 
There are countless references to black widows all throughout popular culture, but the truth is that black widow spotters are actually pretty harmless. They may appear terrifying with their black bodies and their red hourglass shape on their butts, and yes, they are poisonous, but they are actually not dangerous for humans. There was one study back in 2014 in which a team tried to discover how agitated a black widow needed to be in order to bite a person. No matter how hard they heckled the spider, it simply would not bite. It is now acknowledged that the only way a black widow will ever bite a person is if it is extremely agitated or feels like it is in danger. This involves picking the spider up by its legs or trying to pinch it. Only then will it actually try to bite you. But even when the black widow spider bites, it is very rarely fatal. The black widow spider is about as dangerous as a bumblebee. According to life science, in 2013, there were 1,866 black widow bites reported. None of them resulted in fatality. Have you ever met a black widow? Tell me about your experience in the comments below. Number 4. Giant Whip Scorpion To stumble upon a scorpion is an extremely alarming experience. The only thing more terrifying than a giant spider is a giant scorpion. Your first instinct would be to scream and run away, especially from the terrifying looking giant whip scorpion, which live primarily in the United States and Mexico. However, as frightening as the scorpion may appear, it is completely harmless. This scorpion does not have a stinger filled with venom, nor does it have a poisonous bite. The only thing the giant whip scorpion can do is pinch your toes if you get too close which it might hurt, but it definitely won't kill you. There are certainly many scorpions out there that can send you screaming in pain to the hospital, but the giant whip scorpion is not one of them. It is still a pretty large creature, measuring up to about 5 centimeters in length. However, they kill their prey by crushing them with their pincers, and unless you are small enough to be pinched and eaten by this tiny creature, you are going to be completely safe. A giant whip scorpion is more of a house pest than an actual danger. Number 3. Vampire Bats People are terrified of bats, and let's be honest, there is nothing more unnerving than walking into a dark cave only to hear the screeching of a thousand bats overhead. Finding a vampire bat flapping around in your house, bothering you in the park, or screeching at you from the sky is utterly horrific. But the truth is that vampire bats are not actually dangerous. You can shriek and panic all you want, but a vampire bat is not going to hurt you. In fact, the worst thing a vampire bat can do to you is maybe flap its wings around your head and give you a heart attack. Why people are so terrified of bats is a bit of a mystery, but it probably has something to do with why people are so instinctively terrified of rats. You see, even though bats basically never bite humans, they have been known to carry rabies. Though this is not a fatal disease any longer in the civilized world, even if it were, the Bat Conservation Organization explained that only about 6% of bats have rabies. And it could very well be that humans are aware of their infectious nature and are instinctively afraid of them. But you should know the only thing that vampire bats have any interest in biting is livestock. And even then, vampire bats don't kill livestock. They simply suck their blood and then move on into the night. Number 2. Gharial Alligators and crocodiles are not something people generally want to have swim with. Crocodiles are mean-tempered and they have some of the strongest jaws in the world. If you were to get stuck in a crocodile's mouth, you are basically gone. And while gharials are members of the crocodile family, and while they certainly look just like mean crocodiles, they are the most harmless of all the croc species. Yes, they are big, up to 15 feet long and 2,000 pounds according to National Geographic, but they are also harmless. Gharials live in the river systems of Nepal and India, and they are totally unable to attack humans. Even if one of these river monsters wanted to take a bite out of you, it really couldn't. It has an elongated snout that looks a little cartoonish, 110 extremely sharp teeth, but it is unable to attack large animals. Their jaws simply can't manage it. For such a large animal, it is a bit surprising that all the gharial eats is fish, frogs, and even insects. Also. Unlike other crocodile species, gharials don't launch themselves at their prey. They only wait to detect the vibrations in the water to eat some fish nearby. The most they will move is their head from side to side. Imagine a 2,000 pound crocodile eating nothing but insects. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Number 1. Basking Sharks 
Basking sharks are one of the scariest sharks to see in the ocean. They open up their mouths larger than almost any other shark and they just look horrifying when they do it, like they could swallow you whole with one bite. In fact, the basking shark is the second largest living fish in the world. They can grow to be 26 feet long, but their diet consists only of different planktons. It uses its giant mouth for sucking in plankton and not for eating humans. The teeth of the basking shark are quite small, about 5 millimeters, and are hook-shaped so we deduce that only the three rows of the upper jaw and the seven rows of the lower jaw are really functional. It is not a prey shark. It feeds only on plankton, so it doesn't need more powerful teeth like other shark species. The shark is actually completely harmless and will never hurt you. It's not even aggressive, but it sure does look like a monster of the deep. Thanks for watching. Which of these animals are you scared of even though you know it's harmless? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next awesome video. See you next time.